So I want to talk about a field. It's a little field uh, here on one corner of the farm. And uh, this thing's uh, called the Salt Peter Field. And that's been the name ever since I can remember. And I don't know, you know, back in the Civil War days if there was Salt Peter mined out of here. Uh, I, I just don't know, and nobody's ever uh, been able to tell me. And uh, but my great grandfather worked this, and uh, my grandfather, uh, you know, our family had cattle that would graze back in here. And uh, there's a rock pile, and uh, these rock piles are everywhere on the farm where my great grandfather would plow. And clearly, he plowed this field, and then he may have plowed on up into the woods. Uh, I don't know to what extent this field might have gone on up that way, but uh, anyway, uh, this spring, while I was busy fertilizing, I thought I'd uh, hit this field with uh, Timothy and fertilizer. You know, I mixed it all together and broadcast it out with my Kubota spreader. This field is a long way from uh, going into a hay but uh you know we got some pine stumps here uh it had grown up and had you know pine trees in it and uh, we had it clear cut five or six years ago these stumps are they're kind of rotten out and again you know probably uh come in here with a small excavator and dig these things out uh always plenty of firewood around the perimeter of this field but I wanted to get uh, Timothy in here and get it started <clears throat> and we'll let it come up and go to seed and just try to continue to replenish and uh, I might uh, I might frost seed a little bit of uh, clover in here and uh, just to kind of fix nitrogen while we're while we're waiting uh, it needs lime it's very acidic and uh, so we want to get the pH up and just take a period of a few years to kind of get the uh, soil, uh, you know, just to kind of get the soil uh, rejuvenated, for lack of a better word. But uh, this, you know, the sun comes up in that direction and it sits over, well, there it is right up there. And uh, so while this field sees uh sunlight it's not intense like it is up on our high ground and i just think this will be an ideal field for timothy just a great timothy field you know it's a small field maybe some people wouldn't fool with it but i think it's a gorgeous field and uh you know we can get a tractor on it uh easy enough and uh i just uh really been looking forward to putting this into grass so i've fertilized it and mixed the timothy seed in with it and just broadcast it out and uh things are greening up some of the green is timothy and some of it is just whatever native grass was in here but uh for the most part this has been kind of a barren ground and uh neglected and uh so i want to try to take this back for a future hay field mentioned there was plenty of firewood in here and since I've been in here with the tractor uh, this big old oak tree is uh, pulled loose we'll cut this up for firewood there's another one right over there and uh, seems like every year uh, the wind and ice and snow in the winter bring down seasoned firewood for us to cut up so i thought i'd uh i was out just kind of tooling around on my john deere uh this evening and uh i just thought i'd ride out here and check on this to the salt peter field and it'll be a future hay field uh hopefully in a few years so we'll talk to you later